Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of OKKK The Beauty Edition. So this feature focus episode is on what you've been asking for, eyeshadow. There are so many different things that you can do with eyeshadow, but this particular video is going to focus on my ultimate favorite, a light to dark smoky eye using neutral colors. You ready? All right, let's get started. Okay, eyeshadow. So there's so many different ways to wear eyeshadow, and it really depends on your eye shape. So for someone with an eye shape like mine, I think we can go in with a little bit of a smoky feature. People who have a hooded eye have to do a slightly different technique, and I'll probably do a video in the future on that. But right now, I'm gonna do a basic smoky eye using neutral colors. This tends to be my go-to look depending on where I'm going. It could be out for dinner with the husband. It could be with the girls for you know, brunch. Um, it's really just a neutral color palette that I really, really absolutely love. Today I'm gonna to be using one of my absolute favorite palettes. And I think it's because it's a lot of neutral gold tones in it, which tends to be what I geared towards, depending on where I'm going. Sometimes it's color, but if you want something basic, something that you can jazz up for the nighttime look if you're going out for date night, or if you want something a little softer during the day with the girls for brunch, The Warrior by Juvia's Place is one of my absolute favorites because you see, it's super rich, lots of gold. You have a little bit of shimmer in there as well as mattes. So this is really perfect to complete a smoky eye look. So I'm gonna show you my favorite basic go-to look when it comes to eyeshadows. And it's gonna give a little bit of that light to dark smoky effect, okay? This tends to be my favorite because I feel like it really shapes the eye really nicely. Um, and it prepares me for my lashes because you know we always need some lashes. But that's a whole nother video for you. Anytime I do eyeshadow, I always use a base underneath. The eyeshadow is powder for the most part. There are some creams, but that needs something to adhere to. So my favorite is the P. Louise base. Comes in an array of colors from 0 .0, I think, to about five. This one is gonna be number four right now. Sometimes I use it a little bit lighter if I want the color to really pop. Um, but four is kind of neutral and basic for me. And I'm using a matte cosmetics brush, flat shader brush, number 252. And just taking a little bit of that P. Louise primer and I'm gonna coat my entire eyelid with it. Anywhere I'm putting eyeshadow is gonna have a little bit of this primer. Regardless of the primer that you use for your eyeshadow, be sure to use a very thin layer because you don't want too much buildup under the eyeshadow. You want it to look as smooth as possible. The P. Louise is a really, really nice consistency, super smooth, and when you use it with the shader brush, a thin layer will be just enough. Done. It's like painting a wall. You know, you gotta prime it first, you know, put down the spackle. There you go. Paint always looks better with a little primer. Now I'm gonna go in with a fluffy blending crease brush. This is the Morphe 200, M200 actually. And I'm gonna start with a matte color. So this is what I use, similar color I use to do my contour on my face. So. I'm going to use this to contour my eyes. And this is gonna go right in the orbital bone area. So it's, what it's gonna do for me is it's gonna differentiate my eyelid from my brow bone and gives me a nice shadow there. So it's really an extension of that orbital bone socket and my nose contour. Another tip when you're doing eyeshadow. When you take product onto your brush, be sure to tap away the excess. And if you do, start with the shadow on the outer edge of the eye. That way, if you have a little bit too much product on your brush, it doesn't completely ruin the look of the eyeshadow. You'll just put the thicker color or the more dense color on the outer edge and then blend it inward, like I'm doing here. Once you blend that color inward and you diffuse it, it will then become an extension of your nose contour. So that's why it's important to use a matte color and something that's a little bit darker than your own skin tone. Done. Well, not the whole thing, but done this portion of it. 
So I went ahead and, and contoured my entire eye. So this now tells me, here's my lid, there's my crease, there's my brow bone. See? It's a method to the madness. It's a method to the madness. Now using a slightly smaller blending brush, this is one of my absolute favorite blending brushes. It's from MAC Cosmetics 217. So it's a little tightly wounded compared to the last brush that I used from Morphe. And I'm gonna be using in the Warrior palette, the dark brown. So I'm placing this color right on the outer edge of the eye in kind of a triangular motion. So I'm being very deliberate with where I'm placing this color because I don't want it to go too far down under my eye, but I don't want it to go too far into my crease either. So with a very light hand and a little bit of color on the tip, I'm placing it on the outer edge. So think about grade school math, you know, the greater than less than signs that kind of went like this. Yeah, that's what we're doing to our eyes. Greater than less than but always greater if I have something to say about it. So being very careful with the placement of this outer edge color, which is that darker brown, that darker shade, be sure to use a really light hand so you can diffuse that color nicely and not bringing it too far into the color that you've already put down. Also, taking the excess that's on your brush and just working that into your eye contour is perfect placement. And the final part of the eyeshadow for me is now my lid. The funny thing is the P. Louise primer is nice because it's a matte finish, so it almost looks as if I have a little bit of a lighter matte color on my eyelid. But because I like a little shimmer, you know a little glitter never hurt nobody, I'm gonna put a little bit of a shimmery shadow right on top of my eyelid to give it a little extra pop. And it's summertime, so I want a little bit of glow. You know when the sun hits me, I'm trying to glow. So I'm gonna go for this guy right here in the center. So it's a little bit lighter. Here is a matte version of it, kind of, and here is the shimmery version. So I'm gonna do the shimmery version. Now I'm using a different brush for this one. It's a flat brush. So if you haven't noticed, I've used different brushes for different portions of the eye because eyeshadow is very specific and very deliberate with placement. So I have a lot of women that say to me over the years, I feel like I try to do a smoky eye and I look like someone punched me in the eye or I look like a raccoon. That's because you're not using the proper blessed brushes and placement. So that's very important. I use a fluffier blending brush for my crease the outer edge, I use the smaller blending brush, and now for my lid, I'm using a flat shader brush. This one is actually called the Firm Shader from Sigma. Um, number, this is E as an egg, 57. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, Morini is the name of the color, and I'm just gonna press it onto my eyelid. See the difference? You see the difference, baby? Mm -hmm. Another important thing to remember about eyeshadow is how you're moving your brush. So as you can see, when I did the crease and the outer edge, I was doing more of like a brushing motion. With the mini shader on my lid, I'm pressing the color down. So by pressing the color down, you get more color payoff and the color tends to pop more. If you're using something fluffier and you're blending, it's doing exactly that. It's blending and diffusing the color. There we go. And just to give me a little bit more definition, in that crease area, I'm going back in with the first color I used and my tighter blending brush, the MAC 217, just to give me a little bit more pop on that color. See the difference it made? So my eyeshadow is done, for the most part, on top. 
And just for good measure, I like to always skim a little bit of color underneath the lash line too, because to me it gives the eye a little bit more balance. So the darker color that I used on the outer edge of my, my eye, which was Mino, is the name. I'm gonna take Mino again, and I'm gonna go back in with the Cosette D230 brush. So this is the one I use to trim my brows, but I also use it for a little bit of shadow placement underneath the lash line because it's a little bit tighter, it's also slimmer, and it's firmer. So it really gives me control over where I'm adding that smoke. So this kind of balances out the smoky eye for me a bit by placing the color right into the lash line. There we go. My eye is completely balanced with color on top, a little color on bottom. And I always like to use a little bit of pencil. So I'm using a black pencil just right in my waterline area. You can feel free to use any that you like. This one is a Wet n Wild from the beauty supply store. So this is just detail straight. Okay, you're not gonna, cool. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And of course, mascara. One of my favorite mascaras from the drugstore is Maybelline Lash Sensational. I normally get this in uh, black or whatever the blackest black is. Um, some brands have black, black is black, off black, whatever's the darkest color, I love. I particularly like this brush because it's kind of like bristly and they have little divots that hold the mascara. So the more product it holds in the little divots there, and then it has the brush to comb through. What I'm doing is I'm getting product onto the lash and then I'm pulling it out to extend. It's a science, baby. So I'm just using a little bit of this on my bottom lashes for now. Combing through. There you go. So I completed the entire bottom. Liner, little shadow, mascara. I'm gonna move on to the top. I'm gonna put my mascara away for a minute and I'm gonna do eyeliner, okay? So there you have it, a complete eyeshadow look. This is my version of the smoky eye with neutral colors that can work for so many different things. You can put on a glossy lip with this and a pair of lashes and some liner, or you can pop on some color on the lip and it'll still work. So liner and lashes and lip, there's more to come, baby. So come on back to OKKK's Beauty Edition and let me know about some different eyeshadow looks you want to see. Oh, and one more thing, check out my foundation, highlight, and contour routine, as well as my eyebrow tutorial. Click here to see more.